loss of drying method and consists of weighing and heating unit of the IER with an infrared rays are there for the heating you can see the digital moisture analyzer picture has shown in the figure that is also called moisture balance or moisture meter remember that it is also termed as moisture balance or moisture meter or digital moisture analyzer so just like the weighing balance but there is extra input of the determination of the moisture and also determine the weight of the sample on the digital screen you can see let's discuss the standard operating procedure for taking the sample which is under the test for the moisture content typically a sample size of 5 to 10 grams is recommended while the minimum allowed weight is 0.5 grams small sample sizes should only be used when the material is difficult to obtain uh, the material is very expensive in this case small size sample is taken to avoid the loss of the material as the material is difficult to obtain or the second case may be the material is expensive one in this case the sample sizes are kept small as compared to the typical used sample size that is 5 to 10 grams that is uh, recommended and specific condition this amount may be reduced you can see from the left side on the top that is from the correct entitled correct sample distribution we take the samples and the quantity we will spread on the sample pan you can see that is that is a sample pan and that sample pan the correct amount that is the correct amount which is spread uniformly that is the correct distribution that is the correct amount and it is uh, the second one that is below the correct amount that is from the total is homogeneously distributed sample should be homogeneously distributed and the sample should be correct sample distribution and we should follow this procedure for taking the sample in the sample pan while on the right side you can see the three different figures first one that is the NPOC sample distribution you can see that is the wrong one here the amount is on the left side that is larger one and on the right side of the sample pond that is the less amount as spreaded that is unequal distribution and another one that is filling it is also a wrong way to take the sample using the digital moisture analyzer and the sample pond is filled that is wrong one and the last one is excessive amount and the amount uh, that is recommended that is 5 to 10 grams here the amount taken that is extra amount and it will definitely lead to the difficulty and the wedding as well as in the operating procedure has followed on the left side of the two diagram that is shown first one is for example distribution and the second one is homogeneous distribution it is the recommended one it is important that the sample be evenly distributed on the sample pond and that the physical state of the material allows the absorption of IR and dissipation of moisture now how we will process 
how we will follow the SOPs, the standard operating procedure using uh, digital moisture analyzer. First of all, we will turn on the equipment that is the moisture analyzer. In this case, the plug-in should be done, but before the plug-in button should be checked. It is off and we will insert plug rather than if it is on to avoid the electrical hazard if any they are in the wiring the wiring of the equipment as well as any short circuit on the electric supply the second step we will see and adjust if necessary temperature that is on the digital moisture analyzer screen if it is shown it is adjusted at 105 degrees centigrade and it is ok otherwise we will adjust the temperature at 105 degrees centigrade to take the sample press the tear button to adjust the weight of the sample after putting the sample pan if we put the sample pan and not adjust the weight by pressing the tear button then the sample pan weight will also be added to the sample and the claim of the sample size that either we take the 5 gram or up to 10 gram that will be not accurate and precise to avoid this confusion we will press the tear button after putting the sample pan on the digital moisture analyzer then we will take the sample that is the recommended one quantity that is 5 to 10 grams in the sample pan and we will distribute evenly on the sample pan as shown in the base figure that I have shown to you that the correct sample distribution is that one and that is the homogeneous distribution rather than on the right side of the three figure that is shown that is the wrong distribution we will follow the left one the left side two figure that is the content amount that is correct amount the correct sample distribution as well as the homogeneous distribution on the sample part. After that, the sample may be varied as I have already told you that if the material is difficult to obtain, then we will take the amount less than that, the specified amount or recommended amount. Or if the material is uh, expensive one and it is difficult to get this uh, limit amount, that is 5 to 10 gram, we will take a small amount, sample size and sample pan and after that sample taken even the distribution on the sample pan has been done and then press start at the digital moisture analyzer having the start button then we will press the start if it is enter button then we will press the enter and some piece of equipment the start button is there but in some models the enter button is there and we will press the enter after the addition of the sample pan and then we will record the reading on the screen and then reading on the screen will be percent matcher content there will be an error after the 5 or 6 minutes there will be a steady state and then you can hear a sound on the that is made by the digital moisture analyzer and a stable reading of the percent moisture content uh, that is noted that is the moisture content of the sample and we noted uh, for the sample after the completion of this practical for determination of the moisture content cleanliness and, and maintenance come in mandatory for the 
digital mice analyzer. Keeping mice analyzer clean and calibrated will help to ensure that the unit operates optimally. The result will be optimum and results are consistent as possible. And there will be no error, no chances of error. If it is calibrated and it is kept clean and it is important to check all the surfaces of the heating chamber and ensure that it is free of rust and debris from previous measurement and keep the area around the sample pond and digital moisture analyzer clean by removing the vent ring and emptying it when needed. A mild cleaning agent is recommended to wipe down all these surfaces. Usually, a dry cloth is used and a mild cleaning agent is also used to clean the surfaces. That's all about the cleaning and maintenance. And we will turn off it is not in unused you can see the procedure again but remember that if it is necessary to calibrate and we will calibrate the digital mice analyzer and the calibration is are also there in the pharmaceutical industry for every weapon either they are internally calibrated or there are some experts that visit the pharmaceutical industry for the calibration of machines and equipment after specified time and that uh, calibration tag is also labeled on the machine that uh, it is valid up to the calibration is done on that particular date that is also mentioned and will it up to that is also mentioned on the each machine and equipment in the pharmaceutical industry thank you all for your attention we will discuss this practical demonstration and the online google meet session. Thank you all.